not only do the players have to have a connection, but there has to be one from coaches to coaches and from player to coach as well. So um, you know, that's certainly part of the building process. And each year is a little different because you guys know the team doesn't stay the same. There's different dynamics or different players. You know, coaches change and the players change. So I think it's important every year, you know, that you have that connection. Dan, the Alabama running game, was it sophisticated or did, did they just line and block and run hard? Yeah, I think you're on the right track there. They're really well coached, you know, offensive line. They got some really talented runners. Um, from a scheme standpoint, you know, each team has their own, you know, philosophy of how they do, you know, their run game or their passing style. Um, so they're unique to them. But uh, I wouldn't say it's a function of a lot of different styles of runs. I would say they're a product of uh, when they do the run and the certain schemes they do, they do them, you know, at a really high level. What do you think is something that we wouldn't notice about Trent Richardson that, that makes him such a great running back? I think one of the things that when you talk about a great running back, usually it's the running style. But I think um, maybe one of the things that you wouldn't know is the guy, you know, is a really good blocker, you know, and blitz pickup, and he's got good hands to catch the ball. I think, you know, he's their second or third leading receiver. So um, although he's a talented runner, you know, I think you could really see this guy as a complete back because he can block, you know, he can play on all downs. Sometimes you may see a really good runner who just plays on first and second down but doesn't play much on third down for protections and that kind of stuff. So this is a guy who, you know, plays on all downs. I think that's, you know, a real tribute to him and, and the style that he plays. So although, you know, he's a talented back and, and they've got other talented backs as well. And, uh, but really more it's just about, you know, about us and our style. And, and we really worry about our technique, to be honest with you, and how we play and the style that we want to play. So there's that fine balance between preparing for your opponent and then also, you know, taking care of your style and making sure your skills are really good and play the style that you want to play too. Um, so I think that's important to us and to our team. I think the communication is getting better. And that was something, as you guys remember, we, you know, we talked about what was the one thing you know, that you really want to improve on. And I probably said takeaways, but then communication was right there with it. So it's something that's constantly uh, we're working on to get it better and better. But now that they've had a few games together, uh, you see a little more of that familiarity where it's just a look or a hand signal to say, yeah, I understand what you're saying now. So uh, we needed that experience uh, early in the season to, to gain. As you know, we had some, some young players playing, and they needed to, to play. And so that, that's been good for us. Uh, I think it happens more um, when it's an offensive coach and a defensive coach you know, who are close that go against each other. Um, you know, because with us, you know, both being on the defensive side, you know, we've got our own problems to deal with. And uh, so it might be a product when uh, you go against somebody who might have been an offensive assistant at somewhere and, okay, I remember how he did this. And you kind of start going back into it. And it, it certainly happened. I've seen it happen. Yeah. You smile. Did it happen to you? you uh, it's happened, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you think back, okay, we played these guys four years ago and this play came up and you start thinking about it. And uh, so, yeah, that definitely uh, has happened to me.